Welcome back to the Essentially You podcast. I am your host, Dr. Marisa Snyder, and I'm going to help you rock your hormones and feel great in your body so that you can reclaim more energy, vitality, and joy and become the CEO of your health. Let's jump on in. Before I kick off today's show on the most common issues that contribute to accelerated aging, which believe me, we all should know, I just want to first say happy holidays. I know that we are in the throes of the holiday season. There's a good chance that you're already traveling to see family and friends or that you are already settled in and spending time with the people that you love. I hope that this holiday season brings a lot of cherished memories and moments that feel so good. I know at times this season can bring about just sad memories and moments But again, I'm just holding the vision that there's a lot of sweetness in this beautiful time of the year for you. Now, I'm excited to talk about this particular topic because my little family and I, we are recovering from RSV. You know, this is my second illness this month. Originally, I had the flu a couple weeks back, and thank goodness only I got the flu. My husband, Alex, and our baby, Kingston, did not. But then after Kingston's second birthday party last weekend, where I was still recovering from the flu, he ended up getting sick, and then Alex and I have a very kind of stunted version of it. We are far more functional, and although he's in really high spirits, Kingston, we're feeling a little bit run down as I am packing everybody. You know, that's the work of mamas out there. Not that dads can't do it too, but we're gearing up for like a nine-day epic adventure doing all the things, going all the places. I know everyone wants to see the grandbaby and the nephew, and so we are doing our best to recover and also make the best of this time of the year. And I think about this topic today about, you know, the common issues that contribute to accelerated aging. And no surprise, these are the same issues that contribute to us staying sicker longer, to us not feeling our very best. And so I'm excited to share the top 11 with you that contribute to accelerated aging and chronic disease, but then also three things that we can do really that are non-negotiables that can move the needle in moving us towards longevity. Because to me, cellular and longevity is literally the name of the game. And we now know that from extensive research that the root cause of accelerated aging is not completely tied to our genetics. Uh -uh. In fact, our genetics only predispose us to certain outcomes. What we know about our genes is that we can dim them, right? We can kind of turn them up and we can turn them down, kind of like the dimmer switch in your hallway or maybe in your kitchen and living room. They don't guarantee anything, which means you can intentionally slow down the aging process in a big way by addressing and nipping in the bud the most common contributing factors. And really, by making a few key lifestyle changes, you can extend your longevity for much longer than you ever thought possible. One of the reasons why we always do my 14-day detox at least twice a year is because we know that we are continuing to dim that switch so that we have greater longevity. And not to say, I mean, I'm definitely playing the long game. Don't get it twisted. But also, I'm playing the short game too. Like, I want to feel good this year. I want this year, 2023, to be my best year metabolically, to be my best year energetically. And I do this by doing the things like a detox to really support my body's detoxification process, my body's mitochondria, and most importantly, my cellular energy. So without further ado, here are the most common issues that contribute to accelerated aging. Number one, eating too many ultra processed foods. Next, sitting too much, basically living a sedentary lifestyle. That's like walking less than 5,000 steps a day. Next, deregulated blood sugar and insulin resistance. And what I love is that there are so many ways that we can balance our blood sugar and reverse insulin resistance if we are just focused on it. I have so many episodes on this topic, and one of my favorite tools to do that is my glucose support. What I love about the glucose support is it's instantly become one of my top five supplements in the Essentially Whole store because so many people are concerned about keeping their blood sugar stable and want to reverse even the incy-wincy amount of insulin resistance that they may be dealing with. Also, if you're looking for a surefire way to reverse 
insulin resistance and balance out blood sugar, my 14 day detox, which is going live in just a couple weeks, three weeks, I think, January 10th, is a great way to kickstart that a massive healing journey. So I'll have the link in the show notes for the detox because we already have hundreds and hundreds of people joining us right now, and I want you to be one of them. Next, becoming overweight, losing muscle mass, a lack of why or purpose. We know that in the latest research, when we don't have a big why or a purpose for what we're doing, we are not as motivated to stay healthy so that we continue to live out that purpose. Poor quality sleep or insomnia or you're sleeping less in general because you've got other stuff to do, right? We are not prioritizing sleep. Insufficient amounts of vitamin D, C, and B levels. Chronic stress, so like that feeling of overwhelmed or feeling stressed out, social isolation, and drinking too much. Now, this is a quick list of the top 11 common problems that contribute to infla aging and shortening your health span. And while we all can agree that social isolation was practically unavoidable this last couple of years, we can nonetheless step back to protect ourselves from the impact of social isolation and the other factors that I just mentioned a second ago. Now, there are three basic things that we can do starting today or maybe starting after the holiday season. Totally up to you, but you know, there's no better time than the present. And what I love about these three is that they're very essential and they just get straight to it. So the first one, I know you know this, but I'm going to say it anyway, is getting that deep restful sleep, right? Sleeping a minimum of seven to eight and a half hours per night. I'll tell you what, this has got to become a priority. If it hasn't become a priority for you this year, make it a priority for you next year. We know that sleep, especially that deep sleep, cleans out the gunk, not only in your body, but most importantly, it's a power cleanser for your brain. Especially if you give yourself three hours since your last meal when you go to bed, right? There's a three hour gap where you have not had anything to eat before bedtime. That allows the lymphatic system to just clear out all the amyloid plaque, excess protein and debris that has built up from your brain working all day. Number two is avoid ultra processed foods. And really what you're looking for is avoiding the shelves, the grocery store shelves, 75% of what is in the grocery store. And really it's looking for food that has five ingredients or less and ingredients that you know, right? And don't let those five ingredients be sugar or corn or soy or any of the stuff that we know is not serving us. And again, if you want to reset your food, you want to reset your taste buds, you want to create food freedom from addiction to food, because we have addiction to salt, to sugar, to ultra processed ingredients. Again, I highly recommend the 14 day detox. Like your taste buds will be different. You will have full food freedom. And that's something that some of us have never had. And I feel like I'd never had it until I did my first detox when I was 30 years old. And then number three, is moving your body every single day. And you know, my favorite way to do that is walking, right? Walking after meals. I know it's the winter time. I know it's cold, but it could be walking around the house. It could be doing some squats. It could be doing some burpees. It could be a lot of activities, right? So just making sure that you're moving your body. I was talking to someone the other day and they have a Obviously, they have a bike in their house, and so they're doing a little bike ride after dinner, like a little 10-minute bike ride. I mean, get in where you fit in, right? If there's a will, there's a way. And so I highly recommend be thinking about how you can integrate deeper restful sleep, avoiding the ultra-processed foods, and moving your body 20 to 30 minutes a day. I mean, it will make the greatest difference on your cellular longevity, and you will feel so much better. Now, I would love to know which of these three essentials are you going to commit to today, even during the holiday season, like which one feels most aligned with you. I know for me, it is moving my body and getting that sleep. As a mama who is caring for a sick toddler right now, sleep is so precious. And so once he is feeling better, I am going to be committing. I mean, I am in bed by like nine o'clock every night. And and shout out to all of those, all of you out there who are in bed at like 9 p.m. because you know you're going to be up at like 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, if you loved these tips today, be sure to subscribe for more easy tips to hear hormones and to upgrade your health, please go and subscribe to the show. And if you can leave a quick review, that way we have more women tuning in to become the CEO of their health. 
Until the next episode, have an amazing day.